just started fishing today at March in Cambridgeshire. We're actually on the old River Neen, the old course part. Now we're fishing right in the town centre. Actually, the, the town bridge is actually just to my right here, as you can probably hear. I've only come for a couple of hours today, so I thought I'd keep things really simple. And I've only actually brought along a whip, a few pinkies and a little bit of ground bait. And I'm hoping to catch a few more like these. I've managed to pop out for a bit of pleasure fishing, which is something I rarely get time for these days. With only a couple of hours spare, and this section of the river fishing so well, I thought I'd bring the cameras along, just hopefully to catch a few fish. I'm going to keep things really simple today. I've just set up one rig, a four and a half metre whip. That's all I've set up. Bait choice, I've only bought pinkies and a little bit of ground bait. You really don't get simpler fishing than this. I do love fishing the whip. When you are limited for time, it really is the method to choose because it's just so simple. Now to be successful, there are a couple of key points that you have to follow. Now one of these is rig control. That's controlling the float between the float tip and the whip tip. Now today has been really testing with the weather. The wind has been swirling and coming from all angles and keeping that control of that float tip at times has been really tricky. The secret to good presentation is keeping the line tight between the whip tip and the float tip. The last thing you want is the wind to blow the line in front of the float and make the presentation look unnatural. One thing you must remember is not to strike too hard. You don't have elastic in a whip like you do a pole, so it's very direct and you don't want to rip the hook out on the strike. There's no need to strike very hard. It really is just a simple case of lifting the whip when the float goes under because you're so direct to your rig. The reason I chose a four and a half metre whip today was that it allowed me to fish in the channel right down the centre of the river. Should the river have been wider, I would have opted for a longer whip. The other key point is regular feeding, little and often, just like you do on any river. This will keep the fish in your peg, actively seeking the bait. To start the session today, I've just introduced three small balls, golf sized balls, just throwing them in. And then through the day, I've just topped up with odd balls and just loose fed a few pinkies. Really as simple as that. And the rig is so simple, it's just a half gram float with a bulk and then two droppers down to the hook. The great thing about fishing at March is that you don't need a day ticket, it's free fishing. There are a few matches organised through the winter months at March and Bob Fitzjohn, who runs the matches, really does do a great job. Once you've fed your initial ground bait, you normally start on a small bait, a single pinky, which has worked today, but by switching to double pinky has certainly caught me the bigger fish. When loose feeding, I feed about 12 to 15 pinkies every other rundown. And then I feed a small ball of ground bait probably every five runs down. There's currently that many fish at March that you really can feed some bait. With the wind being quite testing today, I've actually at times had to cast quite hard to get the rig out there. When the wind is allowed, just an underarm flick has been suffice to get the rig in the right place. Today's short session has actually gone really well. I've ended up with about 15 pounds of roach in less than three hours fishing, which to be honest, I'm over the moon with. If you've only got a couple of hours spare, like I have today, come and give this venue a try. It really is fishing very well. Mm -hmm.